exiting puberty, they're in a developmental stage, regardless of if you want to acknowledge that or not, that's where they're at. So let me explain it. You've got to make sure that you look at this almost like caterpillar to butterfly type process. There are necessary steps. So if you, if, if you don't allow your child to run heavy on their heels through a certain period of time, they're not going to stimulate the tissue development, um, the adaptations of the calcaneus, the heel, the necessary pressure that stimulates bone growth, tendon and ligament adaptation. You don't need them to run correct right now. You need to keep introducing them to concepts about how to run correctly so that their brain and their neurological responses actually start to form. But if they ran correct right now, you're going to limit their development in the future. So getting them up on their toes or whatever, you you have uh, bias towards a technique that you think that is, is correct. Um, that's a different conversation. My opinion is the only technique that's correct is the technique that specifically works for these individuals. So you've got, that's why a coach is important. Being able to identify and see things in movement is, is huge. But the reality is, is your kids aren't going to run correctly. They're not going to run right most of the time. And you need to be more than comfortable with the fact that there's going to be periods of time in their development where they are fast. And there are going to be periods of time in their development where they are slower than expected where maybe they were faster than a kid for a few years or the fastest kid on their you know, soccer team and now they're the slowest. And this is normal. This is very normal. I don't care if your kid's going to be a pro or just going to live in their body for the rest of their life. You need to be comfortable with this. And you also need to understand that all these things are stages of development. Hitting in different parts of your foot when you run, a lot of that has to do with timing systems. And you got to consider that if one day your femur is longer on your right side than your left, or say your, you know, the bone between your knee and your your foot, let's for basics, your tibia, shoots up an inch, and then it's not directly in proportion anymore to the bone between their knee and their hip. Of course, they're not going to hit their foot in the right spot when they run. Their timing's off. It makes a lot of sense with when these things happen. Instead of panicking, understand that it's the body's way. God made us this way so that as we move with those things. In, in place, it's part of our body's ability to create robust tissues and advance the development of all the things that are going to make us complete in our development. So I think trying to bypass that, I think that's faulty logic. I think continue to introduce them to concepts. So I, you know, obviously I'm a big proponent of training constantly. Yeah, playing different sports is great, but if you don't have someone coaching and training your athlete, then you're going to really miss some of these concepts with them and what I mean by that is even if they're not running correctly they need to continuously be introduced to concepts of movement problem solving concepts and and really initiatives and in ways that they can personally overcome different things that they're going through in their development because if not you're going to be hung up on well my kids arms don't move right well there's a lot of development going on in their shoulder girdle right now this may be a necessary thing for them to move through and you don't want to bypass that same thing with where is their foot hitting are they man i need my kids running on my toes or just heavy prayers for those folks I hope everything's okay it could be that there's you know that is a necessary thing they need to go through think about the caterpillar to butterfly phenomenon, your child is not that much different than that. You've got to make sure that you allow them, not necessarily to struggle, I don't think all pain is good or whatever, I, but I think allow them to move through these processes so their tissues develop correctly, so that their body can stimulate growth in the right ways for the right reasons. And you don't need to be panicked about their technique all the time because their technique is a mirror of where they're at in their development. That doesn't mean you can't correct or improve. That means that you need to be careful with the things that you try to make them do. They're not going to school that are professional athletes in one of seven sports. So I'm not trying to be rude, but I can tell you definitively that you're wrong. They don't need to move like that right now. They need to move in the way that they move best currently, and they need to be continually introduced to concepts so that they feel more comfortable and that their body can develop at the pace that they need to. Don't want to rant. Um, I just know a lot of parents get really panicked and they'll come to me and say, or all our coaches, our team and say, oh my gosh, like, what are we going to do about his running form? It's, it's terrible. And they want to correct it. But I think you got to look closely at 
Does it need to be corrected? Or are they going through a developmental process that's crucial for them long term, just as a human being that's going to live in their body, much less an athlete? And what we would love to do is empower you in that process and be a part of that, of course. But if not, just rest easy and know that you don't need to completely panic all the time if your kid's technique isn't perfect. Because your technique wouldn't be perfect either if, you're, if your big toe on your left side was out of proportion to where the rest of your toes should be or your tibia or femur length or your humerus length. And it's normal. I mean, if you, it's so obvious to us for watching a cartoon and... <laughs> you know, like a cartoon animal has one wing that's bigger than the other, and it's like, of course they don't fly right. But I think as parents, we get so emotional, we don't see and identify those things in our own kids. You gotta be okay with the fact that your kid is not finished, they are developing. They still need coaching through that process, it's crucial. But don't expect perfection. Don't expect it to look like how it's gonna look when it's done. Went on a little longer than